Hello everyone, thanks for here. Welcome to Sable. Uh, probably my most anticipated game of 21. Very much looking forward to this. Developed by Shedworks, published by Raw Fury. You can get it on Steam, you can get it on Xbox. Um, I'll put all the links down below where you can get this game. It is on Game Pass as well, which is where I'm playing it. Um, I have done some testing and there does seem to be a little bit of a, a lag or a stutter with the camera movement and it might be only on the game pass version i'm not sure so i'm probably going to only record one episode until that is fixed i've already tried troubleshooting it an awful lot and um i can't figure it out so I i'm gonna wait for a patch i think so i'll play maybe a half hour of this and then we'll go from there um i love this game i love the visuals i love the music it's very chill it's a coming of age story a woman who sets off for her gliding you'll find out ex eventually what that means so you'll see sometimes when i move the camera there's a little bit of glitch so i'm gonna try to keep that to a minimum until they fix that so this is a very chill game like super chill and i'm gonna play it that way relaxed Admiring the visuals and the music, there may be times where I don't talk a whole lot. So if you want a relaxed playthrough, you probably come to the right place then. See, he isn't that pretty. It's gorgeous. I love it. So, so the word is that this scheme is a lot longer than anticipated. I do plan to play through the whole thing, but like I said, um, it's going to be a chill playthrough. Times where I don't talk and just admire the visuals. See that little stutter I get? And I'm, I'm monitoring my, my hardware and I get a, a spike in GPU utilization when that happens. So I'm not sure what the issue is there. I've tried quite a few things to fix it and I don't think it's an issue on my end well I know it's not because I've read that other people have the same issue so the character movement itself is supposed to be like a low frame rate movement so the character is not a problem it's the camera jittery so I'm gonna try to ignore it as best I can for the first episode. Then hopefully they'll patch it by the time I record the second episode. I love it, it's so very pretty. I can feel JD smiling behind her mask just as I know she can feel the teeth bearing little grimace behind mine also i've been having issues with my eyes um i've been having issues for a long time with my eyes but they're really bad right now and my left eye is like really blurry so i might have a little trouble reading here and there um especially with this black text on a white background anyways just a forewarning i'm nervous as she's softly sweetly amused in her eyes i probably have very little to worry about you know you have nothing to worry about don't you sable I know, I know. I tell Jada that I know, but that isn't uh, hasn't quite sunk in yet. She chuckles. I promise you, Sable, you're fine. But I do know how you are. You're going to be nervous until you've started, and then you'll act like it's, you've been doing it your whole life. Remember the first time you rode a bike? You wouldn't even let me put you on the seat. You were so afraid. Your hands were like little claws gripping onto me. I feel the memory of my fingers. Then I promised you it was going to be all right. I told you how much I had loved riding my bike as a young woman, and how wonderful the wind felt through fabric. Suddenly there you were. You sat down, you leaned forward and put those little grasping claws on the handles, and you were off. I remember thinking, just watching you tear over that sand. Look at her. She can do whatever she wants. Jada reaches out and places a hand on the edge of my mask. And you can, Sable. I take a breath. 
don't know where to start. JD's stories warms me, but I feel too overwhelmed to let it settle. I tell her with a hot with a sigh that I don't know where to begin. She chuckles. Well, I can help with that. We'll need to talk to Halal and Driss. Just should already have made the arrangements for your bike, and Halal will share something. Well, let's just say as useful as it is fun. Hmm? I think I might suspect what Jade's, JD's saying, but I stay quiet. After that, I suppose we'll see you off. What if I choose the wrong path? I asked JD what will become of me if I choose the wrong path. Well, there are no wrong paths, Sable, or right ones. I'll be glad if you choose to stay with uh, Abexi, but truth be told, I'll be glad no matter what, so long as you're happy. Whatever you decide, you do so with my blessing. So don't try using me as an excuse to come home early, eh? She knows me. Now go speak with Halal. I'll be there to see you off. I speak to Driss as well. I've told him to arrange your bike uh, with Sizzo, but you know how he is. Oh, I have something to give you. A compass to help you on your journey. It's the same one I use on my gliding. An artifact, you might say. I take the device on my palm. It's naturally there. Perfectly weighted and crafted. Each component slides together with incredible satisfying precision. Thank you. Go on, go on, it's nearly time. All right, let's talk to Hello. I love how chill this is. As I approach Halal, they give me an enthusiastic wave. I've always appreciate Halal's verve and vigor, and on a day like this, I'm ready to match it. With a touch of nerves for balance. Sable, take this. Halal hands me a small round stone. As it nestles into my palm, I feel a warmth not borrowed from Halal. A warmth not borrowed from Halal's hands, but emanating from within. I run my thumb over it and find it softly electric, like static on cloth. Uh, what is this? I try to sound less confused than I am, but ask Halal what this is. Oh, Sable, you can't leave without it. What I've just given you is a gliding stone. What do you feel? I tell Halal that I feel. Electricity. Then you're doing it right. What you feel on that stone is openness. I look at the stone, it seems quite closed. Gliding stones are vessels for the perpetual. They suck up its power like little sponges and hold it there for you to channel. Right now, it's empty or dormant. I'm waiting for you to fill it up. I ask how I can do this. I'll take it to the temple ruins at the edge of the canyon. I'll be able to activate it there. Halal we'll claps their hands twice and bobs a little. I appreciate their good mood at a time like this. Come back to me once that's done. I want to hear all about it. As I'm about to leave, Halal stops me. Oh, you haven't gotten your bike yet, have you? It's a bit of a trek to the temple, so go see Driss. He was meant to get that ready for you, yes? I'll remember JD's words now and tell Halal I'll go see Driss. Look at his leg! Oh, all right, you see how you got that that leg or that stutter. I'll take that. Yep, yep, yep. Don't know what's causing it. Hopefully they get that fixed before I do an episode two. I do believe Driss is down here. Ooh, there's my bike. Though I've told myself not to be too eager, it's all I can do not to race up the Driss. This is the camp manager. He's been difficult to get a hold of lately. But no, I strongly suspect that he's been working on my bike in secret. Perhaps it's extra beautiful or has some custom feature. What will its name be, I wonder? How fast will it go? Will my legs feel sore or will I get used to it? Just turns with a bit of a start. Sable! Er, hello! Um, Jay sent me to speak with you. Oh, did she? What about? Tell him it was about something special. And then make a low leading gesture slowly, trying to be perfectly cool and confidential. But I can't do it. I'm too keen and the words spill out. I asked Driss if he might sort of possibly maybe have a bike for me. Oh, your bike? 
he yells it like it's an idea he's just had. Your bike! Yes, of course, right, yes, your bike. Um, that I was meant to... that I prepared for you. Because today is your... gliding, yes. Just nods along with me. Yes, of course, right, yes. Yes, I do have that. My blood runs cold. Has he forgotten? Uh, by which I mean I arranged it for you, and I, uh, well, it's sort of a tutorial for you. Uh, did you forget? Well, I'm telling you, I didn't forget. I just made different arrangements. You see, Sable, for one can own their bike, they must prove that they can ride a bike by taking a test ride on a different bike. Think about it, and I find I've never heard of that part of the gliding. But just to seem earnest, sort of. So instead of worrying about your bike, I'd like you to try this bike. That's a test. Tris gestures to the sand cutter at his side. It's quite old and a little shabby. A tester if I've ever seen one. Um, so what's the bike's name? It just seems scandalized. That's a bit personal, don't you think? Just a sand cutter will do for now. Youngsters these days always asking questions. Now ride the bike through that ring and back. And there's some advice for you, my young glider. Don't fall off. Oh, see? See that weird lag when moving the camera? All right. We got buried Stargate right here in the desert. It's very convenient. Easy peasy, sir. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, I didn't mean to crash into your camp. Or he turned to Driss, who somehow manages to seem caught off guard despite knowing I was coming. Sable, congratulations. How was your first pre-glide ride? Any strange rattles? Unexplained hissing? Small fires? Uh, what do you mean fires? Well, surely you notice if there were a f if you were on fire, even a little bit. Um, uh, was that a possibility? Well, obviously it, it didn't happen, so I think we're fine. Um, well, everything sounded normal. Sandcutter must like you then. It's usually a little more temperamental with new riders. We are not even a little bit on fire. Have you already been to buy Halal? Um, yes. I nearly forgot about Halal and thank Driss for the reminder before at least nudging him a little about the bike. Well, I ask him if I'll still be getting one. Well, you're getting the use of the sand cutter. That's something, eh? You could borrow it to run your little errands. My little errands. And Halal's got something to show you, too. Help you out with more of that uh, mobility you're after. My confidence in this exercise only slightly tarnished. I thank Driss very much for his help and his bike, and I depart for Halal. Well, I already talked to Halal. Um, quest log. Here we go. The stones. Yeah, I want that. So that should take me that way. Perfect. This is so pretty. I love it. All right, so we need to go activate this gliding stone or turn it on or whatever it is, fill it up. I don't know. That's over this way. Up there somewhere, I think. Wait, can I get up that way? I don't think so. I think it's over here. It's very windy up here. 
There is a day-night cycle in this game. It might be hard to tell at this point, but you'll see it get darker and darker. It doesn't change the game, I don't think, anyways. Like, nothing progresses. It's just like a regular day-night cycle. I discovered that when I was making ambient videos for this game. Also, this game has lots of secrets in it. Oh god, that was a little loud. That peaked on my recording software. So there's lots of secrets in this game. They hide things in places, so I'll be I'll be wandering around looking for secrets. There'll be lots of that in this game. I'll try not to spend too much time on it because I know that can get boring watching that. But with visuals like this, you get away with a little bit of that. I think anyway. The stone thrums like a, the beat of a heart as I approach the altar. Um, am I afraid, exhilarated, or maybe it feels right? I'm ready for Rohana to know me. I am ready to know myself. I feel her curiosity in this sacred place. I know I am in her sight. Sorry if it's too loud. What is that dinging? I wonder. Okay, I have a shield now. Show how all the activated gliding stone. Okay. That's an old space. Well, I messed that one up. It was the lag that did it. demo. I know exactly what I'm doing, by the way. And there's no secrets down there, if I remember correctly. So we're just beelining for the exit. I love how they handle darkness in this game. It looks so cool. Alright! Everything's okay. Understanding, once you get your own glider through your travels in this land, there will be ways you can customize your glider. I don't know if it's like purely cosmetic, but I know there's different ways. And you give your glider its own personality. It's pretty cool.
Wait, I'm not supposed to talk to him. I'm supposed to go to hello. Who's up here somewhere? Over here. Sir, I have the gliding stone. It is filled, or whatever you want to call it. When I return to Halal, it's clear they know what I uh, what I've just experienced. They're excited on my behalf in a way that makes me miss them before I even left. Isn't it incredible? How does it feel? Um, strange. I'm a little queasy. I tell Halal that there is something a bit disorienting about it, and that I haven't quite understood how best to use it yet. Well, uh, don't worry about that. There's plenty of time, and before long, you're going to be floating off cliffs. Cliff sides with impunity. I, I just did that, sir. Uh, is that good? Trust me, you're going to love it. Hello's mood doesn't darken, but the sigh they let out holds a bit of sorrow. You're very lucky, you know. I miss it so much, that feeling. Just floating on the breeze. But I suppose it's best that it fades with age, huh? Or else I might never have come back from my gliding. I'd just be out there having, uh, heaving myself into chasms. Is that really what you do? They think about it. Well, why not? If I had the power, why not use it? I know people manage to keep it up, but I don't know that I've got the time to practice as much as they do. It takes a really serious focus. Halal laughs, even if there's a bit of regret in it. And I certainly haven't got that. Still, I suppose the gliding wouldn't mean that much if it were all gains and no loss, huh? I think about that, but decide that there is already too much loss on my mind to consider it much further. I'm saying goodbye to my clan, my family, my home, my childhood. To lose a perpetual is a sacrifice for another time. You're going to love it out there, Siebel, even when you don't. My advice? Try to have fun. There's a lot to be said about ritual and independence and all of that out there, but the world's an easier place if you put joy first. I thank Halal for their advice and for their help and tell them I'll miss them. It'll be over before you know it. A warning and a reinsurance all in one. I say goodbye to Halal. Before I go, Halal gestures towards the tower. It seems Sizzo wishes to see me before I leave the clan. Sizzo has a task for me. Okay. Any more secrets around here? No? Any? None? Alright. So, before I go see Sizzle, I think I'm going to end the episode there. Again, like I said, there is that that lag stutter that's going on that I need to get fixed before I continue the game. I don't want to continue it with, with that issue. And, um, it looks like it may only be a game pass issue. I don't know. I can't tell. But a lot of people complaining about it seem to be using Game Pass. We'll see. Hopefully they fix it soon. But until then, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.